you know, nothing like a white wall to just wash out your entire face. <laughs> Hi, chillin, how are ya? God, it's been a long time. Where the f*** have I been? Uh, you know, I don't really have an excuse. I just kind of stopped making videos. It's been a long time, and it feels really good to be making a new one again. Happy New Year, everybody! I know for a lot of people personally, 2017 wasn't their best year, and that's totally okay. In the world, I would say, it wasn't a very good year. There was a lot of bad stuff that happened this year. I think 2018 is gonna be better for a lot of people, including myself, and I'm very much looking forward to 2018. So let's chat! I wanted to start 2018 off with a lot of funny stories. For those of you who know me, you know that I look young. I've always looked young. You know, for somebody who's 23, going to be 24 this year, a lot of people tend to think I'm a high schooler, which is hilarious for the most part. I'm not looking for sympathy or anything in this video. I actually do think these stories are hilarious. But I wanted to tell a few stories today that I thought would make you laugh and have always made me laugh. So we're going to talk about problems you might have if you look as young as I do. So obviously it starts with the little things like not looking old enough to drive, not looking old enough to go to the liquor store and buy a bottle or whatever the f Not looking old enough to be out on your own. Another funny look I get is when I'm on my scooter. If anybody who lives in Manhattan knows, there are lots of adults with scooters. However, I just tend to look like not an adult on a scooter. I have this feeling that when people are looking at me riding on a scooter, they go, where are her parents? A lot of the times I get, so um, what college are you going to next year? And I say, oh, I'm done with college. Really? When were you done with college? Oh yeah, like four years ago almost. Oh my god, four years? Wait, I'm just, whoa. I just said that out loud for the first time. That's crazy. I even recently did uh, some background work. I do a lot of background work actually in the city, which is a nice way to make an extra buck and also get onto sets. For anybody out there looking to do TV and film, one of the best ways to learn if you're not taking class is to do background work. It is a lot of work for not tons of pay, but you learn a lot of the ins and outs. You learn a lot of terminology. You learn how to behave and how not to behave. And it's pretty much like taking a class, but you're getting paid to be there, which is great if you want to get into TV and film someday as a principal role. I was recently working on set of a show called Blue Bloods as a high school student. And they had called me and two other students over to do a scene. And I walked over and I met the two other people and they said, oh, so you're a minor too. No. Not. <laughs> they usually don't hire a lot of minors for those shows. They usually hire adults who look like minors. Um, and they were both, I guess, conversing before I got there and were like, oh, you're a minor, you're a minor. And then they just assumed I was a minor too. So, you know. My second story is about uh, one of the times I was dog walking. As I'm sure you know, whoever watches this, I don't fucking know who watches this. I walk dogs part time and there was a client who I would take their dog down to Riverside Park. There's a dog run out there. I had been throwing a ball for one of my dogs. I threw the ball and she lost it and couldn't find it so I had to go get it for her and I walked over to these two people sitting on a bench and they said hi we're really sorry to bother you but we have a question okay we've been trying to guess your age I think you're like 18 and he's saying you're like 16 oh okay um yeah I'm neither of those I get that question a lot actually people have said to me I'm trying to guess how old you are what is your actual age which is so funny because I don't think I've ever said to anybody, I've been trying to guess your age, can you tell it to me? <laughs> and my last story was actually recently, it was a few weeks ago, um, my boyfriend and I love to go to the movies together. So I went up to get the tickets and I think the movie was rated R and the uh, woman said, okay, you can pick your seats, but first I, I really have to see your ID. Oh, okay. Sorry, you just, you look young. Yep, get that all the time. The first time I actually got carted to the movie theater, we'd already bought the tickets and we were going in, we we're getting ready to have the ripped and the guy goes yeah I gotta see your ID and my boyfriend who's six foot four with a beard is standing behind me and goes really dude I don't make the rules I just gotta see your ID and I'm also thinking to myself oh no he must think that this guy my boyfriend is my supervision this guy thinks he's my dad or my uncle or my brother or something God. Uh, so anyway, those are my stories. I hope that they made you laugh. I will probably be carded at bars and movie theaters now and all kinds of other places for a little while until I like look a little older, but who knows when that's going to be. I hope that anybody out there who feels like a baby, like I do sometimes, um, feels some kind of understanding and connection. And maybe the next time you have an encounter like this, you can just laugh. They say one day you're gonna age really beautifully. So, you know, that's probably true. So just take it you know, as it is, you will one day look like an adult at some point in your life. Probably. Hopefully. I hope, right? You know, that would be kind of nice. 
Anyway, I hope you guys have a great day and that you had a wonderful Christmas and New Year's and that there are many, many good things coming your way and I hope to see you very, very soon. Bye.